Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we are here with a barbarian fishing guide for old school runescape and my endless adventure to make as many guides as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it greatly. It helps this video reach more people who also may need it. But with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. So we'll start with the requirements. Both of these are more so recommendations. The first being that you'll need 60 plus fishing. You can actually come here when you're in the 40s. However, you're not going to be getting good enough XP to warrant being here. So I'd wait until you hit 60 fishing to try this out. In addition to that, an angler outfit is going to be very helpful as it will increase your fishing XP per hour by 2.5%. If you want to know how to go ahead and get that, feel free to check out my fishing trawler guide. Link will be in the top right of this video. It takes a little bit of time, but in the end, it is worth it. As far as the hourly rates that you can expect to get here, anywhere between 40 to 120k fishing XP. I know that's a long range, but it depends on your level and also the type of method that you're going to do. There's an AFK method and then there's a super sweaty method, so it depends on what you want to do there. And then in addition to that, you get anywhere from 4 to 10k XP per hour in agility and strength which can be a nice little boost, especially if you're here for a long while or you're here early on in an account, it can get up some of those levels, which is a nice little bonus. In terms of if it is worth it to come here, I think so. It's good for AFK or efficiency purposes in terms of XP. So I think it works out really good in both of those scenarios. And also the bonus XP you get here is good for an early game account that is looking to get up maybe a little bit of agility on the side. Strength isn't as important, but it is helpful too. For the items needed, first off, we'll go with the gear. Here, the angler's outfit is what I have pictured. In addition to that, I have a games necklace teleport to get there, and then I have a dueling ring teleport to teleport away to Castle Wars Bank. You can choose whatever teleport you'd like whenever you're leaving. I just like the dueling ring. And then for the inventory, there are six items. The first four are optional if you want to sweat your brains out. So the first thing is a pestle and mortar, which we're going to use to combine the clean taramint along with the swamp tar. And then I also have an herb sack, which can bring extra taramins if needed, if you accidentally mess up when combining it, because you're not supposed to combine it. You just start the action of combining it and then you stop it. But if you don't stop it, you'll need extras. So that's what the herb sack is here for. Then beyond that, the two things you will absolutely need is a barbarian rod and some feathers. If you don't have the barbarian rod, we'll talk about that in a second. So as far as where we need to get to, what we need to do, we're going to have to make our way on up to the barbarian fishing area. So to get up here, you're going to want to teleport to the Barbarian Assault. You can also choose other methods. However, that's going to be definitely the easiest by a long margin. And then run down here to the southwest. You'll see a nice little whirlpool up here. Just continue on to the west side of this. You'll see some people huddle along the river. Uh, it's kind of hard to see where the fishing spots are in HD. So if I turn that off, it's, it's blatant that they're right there. However, as I mentioned before, you'll need a Barbarian Fishing Rod. So if you don't have one already, go down to Auto down here in this little hut. Then go ahead and talk to him. Personally, I've already done what I need to do, but just ask him about fishing rod methods and he will tell you all you need to know. And from there, you're just gonna go ahead and search his bed and that will give you a barbarian fishing rod. So once you have that, then you can go do the barb fishing, which is right over here. Tons of spots along the western side of this little pond, so you'll be good to go. And then it's very AFK. As you can see, you get about 50 to 80 XP per catch, depending on what you do. And then you randomly get fish. Here, there's the barbarian fishing section of the fishing icon. And the ones that we're going to be getting here are the leaping trout, the leaping salmon, and the leaping sturgeon. The leaping sturgeon is really, really nice at 70, so it's a nice little XP boost if you don't already have those. And those are the only three things you'll get here. No real value here in the items themselves. As you can see, 160 GP per one, 10 GP per one of those. They're basically useless. You can carve them up for caviar inside, but there's really no need to do that. So there are two options. The first is that you just click on one of these little fishing spots and then you sit back and have a grand old time, throw your legs up and just wait about a minute until you get a full inventory of fish. If you have your shift drop on, it makes it really easy to clear an inventory. You just go ahead, hold shift and drop everything. And if you really want to sweat, I will show you how to do that also. First thing of note is go ahead and right click your inventory and use configure shift click. Then make sure to configure your shift click with the taramin on to use rather than drop. Same thing with the swamp tar, make it use instead of drop. And once there's a little asterisk next to both of them, then you can move on to actually doing the three ticking method. So basically what you do is let's go ahead and click and then we're going to want to use these two things on each other every three ticks so you kind of get the pattern of it every time there's an xp drop you just go ahead and use them on each other even if there's no xp drop i just still go ahead and do it you'll get the pattern as to how to do it over time i'll take the genie lamp whatever shake my head but it's really that simple just use them on each other click the fishing icon 
keep on doing that every time you get an XP drop, and you'll get them much faster than you were before if you were just AFK. AFK, you can only get them every five ticks, while if you're three ticking, you can get them every three ticks, so it speeds us up substantially. Heavily recommend doing this if you're someone that likes to be attentive while you're skilling. If not, I totally understand it. Personally, the account name is IFK a ton, so believe me, I'm not doing this every time I'm here. But you could also just mix in a little bit of AFK with a little bit of efficiency if you'd like as well. Nothing wrong with that. And then if you ever accidentally go a little too long and you do make the tar on accident, just go ahead and drop that. Then use your herb sack, empty it, and clean one of the tarments that you have inside of it. And then fill it back up. It'll take all the herbs back that aren't clean. I accidentally cleaned two of them, so I just dropped them. But there you go. You got another tarment and you are good to go. So that's going to be it for the Barbarian Fishing Guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. In addition to that, anything you'd like to tell me or others, would love to see in a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this as soon as I go live, make sure to subscribe. As always, got a Discord link, a Twitch link down below if you want to check out me and my community. But with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh, peace.